Longtime and legendary NFL personnel man George Young had a saying that became famous among scouts and personnel men. It went like this, there are only so many big men on the planet. And what he meant by that and what's proven to be true over the years is you can find little athletic guys, but big guys who are also athletic are rare. The biggest, most athletic player in this year's draft is also the best player available. USC's Leonard Williams is 6'5 and more like 300 pounds, but moves like a 250 pound linebacker. He's explosive, powerful, and with his quickness, can play anywhere on the defensive line. But for most schemes, he'll play from tackle to tackle. Uh, I'm just going to try to tell those guys, you know, um, if you pick a quarterback over me, I'm going to hurt him. So <laughs> I'm joking, but uh, I just, uh, you know, I want to show them that uh, I'm definitely worth uh, picking. So uh, just try to show them at the drills. Williams is a player in the mold of a J.J. Watt, whose ability to move to almost any spot can create a mismatch anywhere he goes. Washington's Danny Shelton isn't going to move at all, and that's exactly why he's going high in the first round. He's squat and powerful at nearly 340 pounds and was the star of the Senior Bowl in January. Offensive linemen can't move him, which means they won't be running to where he's at. Um, it's a demand, you know, it's a demand for our defense um, to be able to compete, you know, and be able to stay out on the field and so I challenge myself every day to to uh, practicing you know practice you know running to the ball every day. The first round could also see Texas Malcolm Brown and Florida State's Eddie Goldman gone. Brown has a wide base to go with broad shoulders and plays well with his hands which isn't common among college players these days. Goldman is a 340 pound behemoth who has the strength to play two gaps and the power to knock people backwards. Teams looking for a cat quick three technique tackle could turn to Ohio State's Mike Bennett. Jaguars.com senior writer John Osher joins us now for more of an analysis of the defensive tackle crop. There's some good names out there. Leonard Williams, for all effective purposes, is a tackle mm -hmm. in Gus Bradley's scheme. Do the Jaguars need a tackle with Cinderic Marks and Roy Miller? Well, I think now that you have Jared Odrick, you don't need it as much. And if you're talking what you're talking about, then you're talking about needing him for the first eight, 16 games of this year and 16 games the following year. If you're drafting Leonard Williams, anybody at the top of the draft, you're talking over a much longer period. So I don't necessarily look at it needing to fill roles. If Leonard Williams is as good as they say he is and as good as you think he is, then yes, you need him no matter where he plays. All right, so that brings us to the next question. You know, Williams is obviously a blue chip player, mm -hmm. at least in most reasonable people's mind. But this draft is filled with these edge rushers, the right. Dante Fowler, Shane Rays, Vic Beasley, Eli Harold. I mean, pick your name, Bud Dupree is a name that gets left off a lot. I mean, there's lots of them. Do they have more value in today's passing game than a guy like a Leonard Williams? Well, that light Leo guy who comes off the edge has more value than he did 15 years ago when we started covering the league. Back then, you needed the guy the uh, Bruce Smith, Reggie White type, who you, who you thought was that pass rusher, everything. Harder to find those guys, so you're finding them go after more light guys. Uh, Dwight Freeney and Robert Mathis, who I covered in Indy, both lighter guys, speed rushers. Yes, those guys have been pushed to the top of the board because teams need pass rushing no matter how you get it. Um, are they better than Leonard Williams? Are they a better pick? That's what we're going to find out. The choice in this draft at the top is going to be, do you love Leonard Williams enough to have that guy be your guy no matter what the scheme fit, or do you need that scheme fit on the outside? All right, one more position group, the edge rushers, and we'll handle that next week here on Jaguars.com.